Right now, a group of refugees are training to become teachers in Georgia classrooms. And it's all happening through a partnership between a local nonprofit and the International Community School here in Atlanta. Savannah Levins has the story. I am from Nepal. I came here with my family. I have two daughters. Seema Janarula knows what it's like to start over. When I came here, everything was new to me. I have to lift my all the things behind in my country. We are struggling here to survive even. When the Refugee Women's Network nonprofit in Atlanta asked if she had any interest in being a teacher, she almost didn't believe it. Being a teacher was my first dream. Sadia Alani remembers the same call. They say we have opportunity for you to be a teacher. I cannot believe in that time. <laughs> I didn't believe. <laughs> really? How? How I can be? How is thanks to a new partnership with the International Community School in Atlanta. We're a charter school here in Decatur. We have over 30 countries represented, over 25 languages spoken. Interim Executive Director Fran Carroll had the idea to work with the nonprofit to train refugees to become teachers and offer them jobs at the school. When our community is empowered to provide for their families, become productive members of society, everyone wins. Hopefully this is going to help fill the gap in just teacher shortages that we're seeing across the state. Seema and Sadia are part of this first pilot program and are working as teaching assistants while they complete their degrees. They're making a salary while studying and all costs, child care, their schooling and testing are fully covered. They are supporting us to stand on our feet, to do something for ourselves and to make my dream come true to being a teacher. And the learning goes both ways. I learned more English because the kids in kindergarten, they learning like basic language, everything from the beginning. I need that, I learn with them. I'm happy because I'm making something for my future. As the women work toward a brighter future and new career. <laughs> my dream coming true. It's a lesson too for the students about following your dreams no matter where life takes you. We're teaching our students perseverance that it's never too late. Um, we teaching our young girls to see actively happening in their classroom women making a difference. And how starting over can mean the start of something beautiful. Something you never imagined was possible. My daughters, they have never seen me working, but now they feel more uh, proud. They can believe in me now. The degrees take about two or three years to complete. Right now, this pilot program has three women in it set to get their degrees next year, and at that time, they'll open it up to more applicants. We've got more info on 11alive.com. What a great idea and a way to kind of help ease this transition and also serve a need that is very obvious in our community as well. Absolutely, and I love how excited she yeah. was to get into that classroom and teach the children. And she said, you know, they called me with the opportunity. I just couldn't believe it. And that's what we need. We need our educators to be excited. It becomes infectious for our students as well. So kudos to that program. Yes. And hopefully we'll see even more teachers going through the pipeline very soon. Absolutely, and shout out to Savannah for that excellent report.